Bruh, he is jealous. Yo folks, what's up? Your boy Al is here with episode 5 review of Demon Slayer season 4 so let's get things rolling. At first we see Kenroji treat Tanjiro and the other trainees to delicious delicacies and have them wear pink leotards during training. She puts them through reflex and stretch drills, which, though beneficial for the physically demanding role of a demon slayer, are presented humorously. This is the part that I was excited about since the beginning of the Hashira training, because I love the character dynamics between Kenroji and Tanjiro, but sadly they didn't show any of the training, and I can't even complain about it, because they are finally moving the plot forward. Also Kenroji making them wear those dancing outfits was hilarious. Next we see Igiro await Tanjiro's arrival, irritated by a letter from Kenroji detailing her training with Tanjiro. Igiro sets up a unique training scenario using novice trainees tied to beams as obstacles, which Tanjiro must evade to strike hidden targets, testing his accuracy, agility, and speed. Initially hesitant to strike for fear of hurting the trainees, Tanjiro is chided by Igiro for lacking conviction. As Tanjiro starts swinging more carefully, Igiro increases the challenge by fighting Tanjiro while moving through the trainee barriers. After failing for four days, Tanjiro finally calms his mind, loses his fear, and focuses on Igiro, making a mental map of the battlefield. This time, Tanjiro successfully defends himself and lands a strike on Igiro's Hayori. With this improvement, Tanjiro's training with Igiro ends, and he is dismissed. I'm really glad they finally showed Tanjiro's struggle in a training, because so far he has been breezing through all the training, and that kinda gave off the impression that he isn't learning anything new from those training, so showing Tanjiro's struggle made it clear that he is still learning. Also, Igiro getting jealous over Kenroji was cute. Moving on we see Tanjiro head towards Shinazugawa's quarters and encounters Zenitsu, who is trying to escape the rigorous training, hinting at the pain Tanjiro will face. The training is simple, Tanjiro and the novice demon slayers must try to take down Shinazugawa, who counters with a barrage of blows. Shinazugawa easily pummels all the trainees during each session until they vomit and pass out, leaving them unable to stop him. As one of the strongest members of the core, even touching Shinazugawa is considered an achievement for the trainees. Honestly, Shinazugawa being so short-tempered is kinda annoying, because he is too loud most of the time. I know his character is meant to be like that, but I feel like they are overdoing it at times. Also Tanjiro roasting Shinazugawa without realizing it was damn funny. Then we see that tensions arise as Tanjiro overhears Shinazugawa berating his younger brother, Jinya, who is trying to reconcile. Shinazugawa belittles Jinya for not having a breathing style and tells him to quit the Demon Slayer Corps. In the previous season, Jinya played a crucial role in the battle against Hantengda during the Swordsmith Village arc, forming a bond with Tanjiro. Seeing Jinya being scolded, Tanjiro considers intervening but holds back. When Jinya reveals he had to consume demon parts to survive and enhance his strength, Shinazugawa becomes furious. He attempts to cripple Jinya to force him out of the core, but Tanjiro saves Jinya just in time. Shinazugawa swings at Tanjiro, who surprisingly lands a kick while dodging. Shinazugawa starts beating Tanjiro, leading to chaos as the other trainees try to stop him. Eventually, the higher-ups suspend Tanjiro's training with Shinazugawa. Tanjiro regrets not being able to help the Shinazugawa brothers reconcile, the Jinya part was probably the only meaningful part of this episode, because Jinya finally stood up to Shinazugawa and told him the truth without backing out, which shows his character growth. Also I like the fact that Tanjiro wasn't being nosy until Shinazugawa attacked Jinya. At the end we see Tanjiro and Zenitsu reach their final hurdle and see Inosuk and other trainees meditating under a waterfall. This upcoming training clearly aims to test the very soul of the demon slayers. A calming, deep voice utters the teachings of Buddha, revealing the speaker to be the resolute and gentle stone Hashira, Jiomiai Haimajima, who is meditating with several tons of logs tied to his back while sitting on a burning pyre. We don't really know much about the stone Hashira, except the fact that he is currently the strongest Hashira, so it will be interesting to see what type of character he turns out to be. 
Also, I think his abilities will be defensive-oriented, because stone or earth mostly represent endurance in fiction. Overall, it was another average episode, but the plot is finally starting to move, so that's a good sign. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page. Links are given in the description. Until then see ya.